Hey guys, Akiris here. Welcome back. So the moose hide has cured. Not gonna be able to carry this load yeah, for much longer. Yeah, I can't longer. run now. And one of the guts is cured. We're really close on the other ones, so. But this is all we needed. We need one, two, three, four, and now we can start crafting. So we're about a little bit past midday, and I do believe this is a day 150. Yeah, 150. So there are thereabouts. And I think we can craft the moose moose hide satchel. Or should I do the moose cloak? No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna do that. Wow, this is very waterproof, isn't it? Holy jeez. The wolf skin coat is actually warmer, huh? Man, that gives you a lot of armor. Wolf skin coat slows you down more than the wolf. I think I think when we get the chance we're gonna hunt another moose and get this moose hide cloak. Because it actually speeds me up a little bit more in a wolfskin coat. Uh, heavy, but offers significant protection for unfriendly wildlife. It's highly waterproof for rare trophy. You know, I, I like this where it says they should keep their distance. The wolves should keep their distance. Um, but it's it's pretty rare that it actually scares away wolves anymore. It seems like it, it, when it first came out, it scared away probably half the wolves. At least, I don't know, probably an exaggeration, but... 25% of the wolf, something like that. Now it seems like it's more like 5% of the time, 3% of the time. I almost think I'd rather have this. With extra armor, a little more, uh, a little more agile, shockingly, and super, super waterproof. It's 8 pounds versus 6. It's going to cost an extra 2 pounds to carry around. Uh, but we're going to do the satchel first, obviously. So it's going to only take 10 hours, and we're going to try to get started on this right away. Let's make sure we got food and... All right, I don't think we need food. I think we just need drink. I don't think we're going to... This isn't an activity where you have to be well-fed. So... Uh, I thought it stopped this heavy breathing for a second. It's too good to be true. Yeah, I'm just looking at this over here now. The bearskin coat, too. Yeah, let's do the satchel here. And we'll see what happens. Because right now we are at a carry weight of 66 pounds. And, uh, see what happens. So, start crafting this thing up. Sewing kit. I wonder if I could do, I wonder if I could do all, all 10 hours right now. I know that I'll run out of th water. Eh, you know what? I think I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it. I'm just gonna do, like, I know I can go six hours. I should, well, I don't know. Maybe it might make me thirsty faster, too. So, let's do five hours. See where we're at. I mean, kit, that's fine. Okay. The water situation's gonna be alright. We did five hours there. Is, is it nighttime yet? Oh, we could probably get started again, so let's re up on the water. And I think we can craft into the night as long as we start during daylight. So, let's do another five. As long as we don't get too tired. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh oh, did it get too? Ah, uh, uh, didn't let me keep going. Did it? Okay. Well, we have about three hours left to go, so we'll. Uh, what I think we'll do here is we'll mosey on out to our truck, and uh, what I'll do is I'll put this in the uh, put this here in a drawer if I can. Will it let me? I wonder if it'll let me put the partial in there. Your me side. Your gut. Uh, I'm gonna keep those with me. I'm just a little paranoid that if I drop those in there, it's gonna mess up the, the status. I don't think it will. I'm pretty sure it won't actually, but I don't want to take any risk, especially with a moose hide. That would be a horrible glitch to have to deal with. So I'm just gonna keep it with me, even though it is super heavy. I don't have that far to go to get to my bed. And I do have some sodas to drink it's, and an MRE to eat if I need to. And some water to drink as well. So I have plenty of sustenance. Only problem is I can't run. At this point, I think I could take that moose hide and just throw it at the wolf like a, like a net. And it would just crush the wolf underneath it. We'll put one of that. So... Yeah, I don't have any stinky stuff, so... There has been a wolf that's been coming over whenever I bring out 
cooked meat, and it hangs around the truck all night long until I eat the meat. Uh, so like when I was passing time and things like that, but I'm going to pass time here. I want to see if he shows back up, because last time he just circled the truck, circled the truck, while I was uh, doing waiting for those hides to cure uh, over the last couple days, in-game days. So we'll see if he shows back up now that I don't have any meat in the... What I did was I put it in the glove box, and I have to wonder if that counted as a decoy, like me putting it down within his... Uh, aggro range for a decoy and then it came over here and just started circling trying to get this uh, meat out of the glove box I don't know but he was doing it when I was holding it too just sitting here so even though I had no stinky lines but uh, we'll see if he comes over because I did see him over here he was over in this this section uh, walking around and then there was another one there was actually two of them during Aurora once and the other one went down this way so we have this one back the one that we killed he's respawned and then this one has made an appearance over here as well so just stuff to be aware of. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go two hours. That's fine. That gets to be about... Oh, there's the Aurora again. Oh, I wonder if we can go in and... We could probably go in and work on it, but you know what? We need to sleep at this point, so... I kind of want to do it. I got another three hours to go. I'm pretty tired. I, I'm going to get... I'm, I think I'm going to run out of energy before I finish, though. That's the problem. So we'll have, like, 30 minutes left or something, and we'll be right back where, we, where we're at now. So I think we'll just ride it out here. Plus, this Aurora might only last for two hours. I don't know how long they last for. If it's a set amount of time or if it's variable. Okay, so let's get uh, something to eat here. It's important beans. Sounds pretty good. This game is so addictive. Once I start playing it, I really don't want to stop. Just enjoy it so much. Yeah, a little bit of water. I got a, I boiled up a bunch of water, too, while I was killing time. I broke up a pallet and boiled up about two gallons of water, so I have that sitting over there. I got a bunch of broken, uh, reclaimed wood um, for an outdoor fire I had going as well. So I have that in case we need it as well. So... Drink, we're good. I don't think we have much water in here. It's like point thirteen. Yeah, point thirteen. Uh, cured guts, cured guts. Yeah, so that's not stinky. All right. So see, the wolves have not come over and started circling me tonight. Now the last three or four nights they have been because I've been using the raw wolf meat um, from the kill that we had over here. But not now. Okay, so we got plenty of calories. Yes, 5881. Uh, let's go ahead and get some sleep inside the car here. And we're just going to do two hours at a time just to play safe. Maybe, yeah, we'll just do two. I'm really excited to see how much extra weight I get to carry with this moose satchel. 149 days, 14 hours, 55 minutes. So, we're, we're making good progress. Is it going to be a blizzard and aurora at the same time? It's getting windy. I think we're about ready to lose it. The next two hours block of sleep here, we're going to lose that aurora. It's going to be near, it's going to be almost morning. Dawn will be breaking here in a second. I still hear it. Nope, it went off just before I woke up there. But man, it was... It's, that stayed on all night, for sure. I've never been so hungry in my life. Okay, let's do another two-hour block. It should be... A, well, I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be a blizzard. I was going to say it's probably going to be a nice, pretty morning, but... Yeah, it's not that pretty, honestly. I mean, I would like this. If I walked outside right now in the middle of like the start of June, and I saw this outside my house, I'd be thrilled. I'd be like running out there to drain the pool, and I'd be like, all right. I just love snow. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's go another hour. Shall we? Man, I really should have used this instead of that cave. That cave was fun, though. I gotta say, that, that ravine is a great place for long-term survival. And licking your wounds and that sort of stuff, if you don't want to mess with these wolves here, that wasn't too bad, honestly. Thought I heard something. 
Did you guys hear that? No. Just my headphones playing tricks with me again. No, not past time. Almost sounds like a flag kind of whipping. But I don't think there's any flags out here. Hmm. Okay, woke up fully rested. Good stuff. Let's go uh, see if we can't finish this off. We got some more water we can drink here in a second. I heard it again. There we go. Can't move fast at all. My weight. 88 pounds. Jeez. Can you eat trees? The short answer? Yes, you can. I can eat pear trees, apple trees, orange trees, banana trees. I mean, I eat the fruit part of the tree. I guess there is certain barks from trees that you can eat. I seem to remember seeing that somewhere. Okay, let's get inside. Let's finish this off. Because we need to get over to Coastal, which shouldn't be too bad, because we're right there. You know, we're ready to make the jump. I think, I think we will make it back to Coastal. To home sweet home. Cured, 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 cured. Oh, wonderful. And we can just take this and make a bunch of line out of it. And I might just keep a couple cured guts for crafting in the future. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll see. So where were we at? Here we go. Yes, 2.92 hours. So we want three hours here. Do I have enough? I don't think I need food. Look, I'm pretty sure I just tested that theory last time. Nope. What happened? Sewing kit warming up. Really? I have another sewing kit, don't I? I know I got the option for... The... Yes, I do. I know I had the option for the tackle. I could have used that if I, if I needed to. So no worries. Alright, so we got a moose satchel. Let's see what we get here. 66 pounds. Oh, I would probably have to put it on, don't we? Let's see here. How do we do this? Huh. How do we do this? Accessories? Satchel, here we go. Let's wear that thing. All right, can I wear two satchels? Oh, can you? Can you do that? Plus 11 pounds, not bad. So we're really close in carry weight, 77 pounds. Not bad at all. I'm gonna take these. Uh, take that. What are we at now? 80, okay, so, but at least I can run now. Even wearing, weighing 86 pounds worth of stuff. Um, let me make some line here out of these guts. 15 minutes. Should lighten quite a bit here. Let me check and see what the guts weigh. So the guts weigh, yeah, they weigh almost a quarter pound each. So when I get the line, it is 0.02 pounds. So way, way lighter. So we have a lot of guts. So we're going to actually lighten. Yeah, we're going to lighten about four pounds or so. We'll be back close to where we were. Um, I don't know if I want to use them all. I'll probably save some of those. So maybe we'll just travel with what we got. I, maybe I'll just lighten a little bit. That'd be almost a pound. I think it really makes that big of a difference. Let's just, let's just go. Let's go. Got pretty much ate everything out of this locker. Yeah. I got it all right here. I got this MRE for the road. So, we're ready. If we do need to stop somewhere. Uh, let's just get on out of here. And we got two moose bags of meat. But I thought I was going to have to do the uh, 120 hours again. 
I uh, started carting over two more bags of meat on the other side, so they're waiting for me at the transition into Ravine. But uh, we won't need those. We won't need those. So yeah, nice. Let's head on back to Coastal. And live life to the fullest, hopefully. <laughs> Watch that moose make appearance again. Right back to square one. They're like so tempted to take another shot at him. Try to get that moose uh, jacket. Maybe we'll go for that. So I need to get a bear uh, next to repair the bear bedroll for some of those long nights of fishing and to stave off for the uh, stave off the uh, well I had bags of meat here they must have disappeared since I didn't use them they must disappear after a certain amount of time okay no big deal but what we'll do is we'll run over here to the cave and chat on all on some of these steaks that we have uh, left and uh, yeah not a bad little excursion I gotta say thank you for the patience when it comes to my absent-mindedness I really appreciate appreciate that I mean someone's asking man what is with that I, I think and I, and I think I've explained this before is that uh, my job requires me to be hi like almost hyper vigilant uh, for 12 hours a day. So when I get home, I really let my guard down. I go condition white. And, uh, jeez. It's the pointy antler gang, and they're attacking. So I think that's why I, I do some of these little mistakes. It's just like, oh yeah, wow, that was really obvious. I think I got a bunch of meat here, don't I? Should. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of meat. Oh, I should have just ate it from there. But see, exactly. Exactly. Case in point. There we go. Need some of these peaches. Hydrate and up up our calories. We a little bit. There we go. I'm going to leave that coal there. Never know if I have to come through here and I'll be in a really bad way. Might need that really super warm fire. I don't know. Don't know why I'd be back here, but you never know. You never know. So, All right. And we'll drop what we don't need there. Moose meat cooked. I want to take the coffee back with me. What do you guys think? I mean, I got a lot of coffee. Yeah, why not? Sure. Can I eat that charcoal bar? I'm too full to eat. Okay. Leave that there. I'm gonna get a little drink of water here while we're at it. So how are we doing on water? Wonderful. That's just about perfect. Alright guys, let's head on back. Lots of ammo, lots of arrows, lots of arrows yet to build. Um, yeah, I could have stuck around there and built them, but I, I can do that outside. In coastal as well. I'm kind of just ready to get get back. Check my. I did do uh, some clothing repairs while I was waiting for all this stuff to cure. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I picked these up in case I needed a some cloth. Don't need them now, so I'm just going to drop those. I can get cloth anywhere, honestly. Uh, what was it? Yeah. 56 degrees. But as you can see, everything's in pretty good shape. Almost 90% 90, 90 or higher, almost. We shall just enjoy a nice walk back to Coastal. 
Now I am going to try to go down the near side uh, rock faces. Like, as soon as you come out on the coastal, there's like, you can sort of jump off of the main path and go down. That's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, sometimes there's a wolf down there, sometimes there's a bear. But I don't want to have to deal with those switchbacks. I hate switchbacks. So, it's probably one of my least favorite places to try to, you know, travel across. That and Desolation, like the uh, transition to Desolation Point. What is that? The Broken Highway or whatever it's called. Crumbling Highway. I'm not sure what it's called. But, yeah, that one. Uh, from, from Pleasant Valley to uh, Desolation Point. That transition zone is... Is that another piece of coal? Look at that. Stone and coal. Okay, we're going to leave that. Not... What am I saying? Not Pleasant Valley. Sorry. Coastal to Desolation Point. That transition zone. All right, I think I have to walk back the other way, uh, back that way and then around. I just wanted to double check, make sure I didn't check that. I didn't miss anything over here, which is, this can be known to happen. It's not a problem, but scrap metal. You know what? We could turn, eh, we got plenty of scrap metal to be had. Where we're going on coastal, we, we can break down a lot of things. I was thinking about like for or fishing hooks and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Alright, so let's head on down this way and work our way around and go over the tree bridge. Just follow the forgotten cattail heads. This is such a peaceful way to go. I'm like half expecting after one update to come mosey on, moseying on through here and having a freaking Sasquatch or something try to eat me or just uh, just to completely terrify me. Maybe a dragon just flies up over the the hills, starts shooting fire at me. Alright, let's go across here. Try not to fall to our death. Which would suck. And yeah, we got some feathers. We're gonna need those. Feather, feather, feather. Yeah, they probably all fell down. Oh, there's another one. I'm happy. Okay. Don't look down. Don't look down. Whoa. There we go. Easy. No worries. If we have a mountain rope somewhere, we might bring it back over here and go down there. See what's down there. Might be worth our while. I forgot to do that back at the uh, train yard. There was that one, uh, like a little ravine I wanted to go check out. Not really little, it was pretty big. I completely forgot to do it. I felt really bad, too. Someone in the comments in the episode, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come back and do that. It was like, oh, man, I've always wanted to go down there and see what that what that's about down there. Thanks for going down there in the next episode. And then I probably forget it. Or forgot. Forget it. <laughs> hey, guys. It's 5.30 a.m., all right? Words are hard. Forget it. Jeez.
just looking for any of those little uh, anchor points over here. Kind of cool if you could get down there completely. It's probably where all the wolves live. The only place in ravine, something like that, right? Huh. Thank you, arrow tree. I wasn't sure if I needed to go that way. Oh my gosh, another arrow tree. In case this one wasn't enough. Alright, so... A bow bear hunt is next. Doing some bow hunting. And trying to bring that bear down. That's next on the agenda. Once we get back home, get rested. Maybe tomorrow, in game day, we'll uh, go after that bear. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever hunted a bear with a bow. Oh man, I hate crossing this one. Eh, it's not that bad, but it sure does make you nervous. Especially all the time invested here. Now see, here's one of the reasons why I get so nervous. Back when I was, oh my gosh, back when I was in high school, I had this keyboard where occasionally I'd hit, like, a WASD, and occasionally my A... Oh, don't do that. Occasionally my... A key would stick and it would continue to strafe that direction. So if I did that, you know, I, I, I'm still afraid that this is going to be the time that this particular high-end Corsair K65 or 95, whatever it is, keyboard decides to have a glitchy key. Because I've been a victim of it before. So we're just going to be very careful here. The area to walk on on this is probably like as wide as the tracks anyway. Like it's probably the exact same width that they give you. I don't know. I've never tried falling off, but uh, except for right there where I kind of almost did. Uh, but I bet you, I bet you can go like this and <laughs> just keep walking across. I don't know. I'm not gonna risk it. Not at this point. Not with this will. tip anyway. 50, er, negative 8, but it feels like 57. Hmm. Leave, leave Ravine. Alright. Back to our home turf. Now see, normally I would survive on Mystery Lake if I was doing this long term, but I wanted to try something new. So this is the reason why I'm doing Coastal Highway for you guys. I, don't want to try, I wanted to try something new. Now, I really hope the bear doesn't spawn in over here because it's kind of hard to hear now, but now for some reason. I want to go down this way. I see, I don't know if... Can I, can I make that back up there? Yeah, I can. Okay. In case I need to run out of here real fast. Flee back to Ravine. Okay, I got to remember that. that there that's a flare from a oh, wow what is that is that a flare no it's a steak rancid I can eat it now 47 calories that was that bait that I dropped wow I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm like a starving mongrel well if you're not gonna eat it I will It's not my cooking skill that's super high, it's my digestive skills. I should get like an iron stomach achievement. After after you eat so many uh rancid items, you should get a iron stomach achievement. Maybe maybe there is. Ruined or rancid. Now I got a uh I see a is that a deer? No, that's part of the house that's like busted up. 
Now there's a, a rabbit down here, so if I need okay, here's my next Brady hole to run to if I need to. Now there's a rabbit down here too, so I can use him as a decoy. This house, it looks very small from the outside, but it is amazing how large it is. It's, it's quite roomy on the inside. Look how small that is, right? Look at how big it is. You can get two beds in here and all this stuff. It's one of these. Yeah, yeah, it worked. Uh, whatever. I'm to double check, make sure I checked everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, no hidden, no hidden rifle rounds. I think I normally check these pretty good, but Someone in the comments was asking about Jeremiah's knife and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you can't. We're gonna grab these. Yeah, there's no like uh, story mode items. I'll make sure I can still run after picking those up. Some deer. Another deer. Uh, that's my that's my new decoy deer. If I have to. Bear Creek campground. That's the truth. Let's have close calls with the bear down here. Yeah, don't think I need those. I'll save those for an interloper series. Which will be coming after this series. I will be starting an interloper series. So if you're interested, make and you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. There's a cabin up there. I don't think I've... Yeah, maybe I've tri checked that one. I can't remember. I'm not going to go up there because there is a wolf that likes to patrol that area. I ain't... I ain't down for that right now. I pretty much have everything I need. From here on out, it's going to be a lot of hunting. A lot of just day-to-day -day survival type stuff. Fishing, hunting, mixing it up. Working on those, uh, working on my, uh, arrow, bow and arrow skills, my archery skills. Because an interloper, I'm not going to have that rifle. So... I'm gonna have to depend on my. I'm gonna have to channel my inner gel test. It's sickening how good he is with a with a freaking bow and arrow. It's like he's the shroud of the long dark or something. I think that's gonna be my next. I got to check that area there. A couple are this are this like perch saplings. Might need those. Okay, I'm gonna grab this real quick. Um, yeah, he's like the shroud of the long dark. Sickening how good he is with his archery skills. Check this cave here real quick. I think this is a bear cave, actually. Yep, yep, it's a bear spawn cave. Oh, I thought it was a dead guy. Apparently not. Apparently it's just some bones. Maybe it was a dead guy. Okay. That's three more arrows. That's three more arrows. Three more arrows. All right. Can I still run? Yes, I can. What weight are we at now? 89. 89 pounds. Wow, the satchel's nice. Neat likey. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that down tree right there is going to be my next spot to run to. I think I can flee up if I need to. Need to evade. Escape and evade. What's that back there? I see something moving here. What's that? Something's moving down there, and it's big. I think that's the bear. Bears don't climb trees. I'm just kidding. We need to listen for the uh, crows. Apparently they're really quiet now, but they're still present. Okay, so this is my... Yes, I'm definitely running here if I need to. If I get attacked by a bear, I'm going for the rifle. I'm not going to play freaking games. Man, that made me nervous. I know he's over here. Okay, I'm going to stay high. Luckily, uh, but the thing that makes me nervous is these rocks. You can't see around them, so you sort of surprise them. That's always a bad thing to have happen. Stupid PUBG. I'm pretty sure I saw the bear up here. There he is. Yep. I was like, that rock isn't moving. What's he doing? Other than scheming how to get to me. All right, well, so what we're gonna do is, what did I do? Did I just flip those around? I didn't mean to do that. How did I do that? What did I just do? No, that's okay, that's where it was. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot down here and uh, go up this way. See, I can hear him breathing before I hear it. See, I don't hear the birds at all anymore. I miss that. I kind of like the the birds. That was kind of a cool touch, but they took it out for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I could bait him back here, shoot him, and jump in the car. But I think you know I, I do want to practice with the bow and arrow. So we're gonna wait. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do that. All right. Is that rabbits I hear, or? I think it was. Well, I feel much better being out here. Oh, this feels so much better. Got a couple wolves out there. Yep. It's too bad I didn't have decoys to be coming right at me right now. I'm starting to get pretty tired. Try to run ahead of this wolf if I can. Kind of going for the same spot. Quit doing it. Kind of parallel on each other, but I don't have a lot of, I'm sort of getting closed off. It feels like. Okay, I gotta always go for that. Well, let's get off of that. I can always go for that fishing shack. Eh, he's not bothered with me. The bear's coming, though. He's got, the bears are its going to scare him towards me. I bet. That's a possibility. The bear might scare him towards me, which is not good. Have we even been here? I don't think so. Thank goodness. Yeah, we'll take that. What's up here? Oh, all right, fishing book. We haven't been here. I'm not too worried now. I need to stay the night here again. Might even do a little bear hunting right here. Alright. Still run? Yes. Don't need that. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's peek. Ah, uh, the bear's kind of wandering back, it looks like. Alright. Can't even... Oh, there's two wolves at the base. Those look like wolves. They're too big to be bunnies, aren't they? Yes, they are. Son of a gun. I'm going to have to go out here to this fishing hut. Just hang out. I think so. I just want to get home. I keep running into traffic. Take all these detours.
It's like LA, except the traffic's nicer. More considerate. Back to keeping my head on the swivel here. At least you don't have to worry about falling through the ice at this point. Well, pretty good timing. Definitely getting back at, at the right time. Uh, and I know where the bear's at, so I don't have to worry about him. I'm pretty sure I checked this one. I'm just going to double, double check make sure I did. Empty. Yeah, we checked it. All right, good. The sun's setting. It's going to get a lot colder soon. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about that. Will, come on. So I think in the next episode, we go for the boots that I've been telling you guys about. They actually exist. They're not like unicorn boots or anything. And if we happen to see the bear, we'll do our best to uh, bring him down safely with the bow and arrow. All right, well, let's head on up here. What a gray, sort of nasty looking nightfall we have going on here. Okay. Wind sounds like it's talking, almost. Maybe it's a combination of the wind and the uh, and the ocean. That's probably it. All right, guys. Here we are, king of the world. Jackrabbit running around back there. Anything going on out here? <laughs> Let's take a look at the stuff we left. Wow, surprisingly pretty good. Yeah, that's not so good. That's not bad. All right, let's head on in. Hippity hop of rabbit feet. <sighs> we made it. I don't even recognize this place. <laughs> I have to like refamiliarize myself with this whole place. Is this our doodad? Yeah, 31 out of 88. Yep, 33 arrows ready to go, plus what we got, plus, yeah, it looks pretty good. Where's all our ammo? Is that, do we take all our ammo with us? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we did. Maybe, maybe what we have is what, everything we own. Uh, I don't know. So these all have stuff in it. We can break that down, take those matches. Oh, there we go. 59 more. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and there's our, there's our bow and arrows and all that stuff. So, all right. So, wow. 50, 59 rounds plus another 10. So plus 55 more. So, yeah. Goodness gracious, guys. Oh, we got 114 rounds. Unbelievable. Of uh, rifle ammo. Got some rifle cleaning kits because if we shoot that many rounds, we're probably going to need it. And we got more arrows to be made. Plus, we, uh, we're in good shape. So, things are about to get really fun as far, as far as a learning standpoint. And, and hunting and doing things that we choose to do rather than feeling like we're obligated to do. So, like, comment, subscribe. It's going to be a little bit shorter of an episode, but this is a good place to segue. So, I'm going to end it here. And, uh... Like, comment, subscribe. 
make sure you hit that notification bell if you'd like to get updates. And if you want to become a producer, head on over to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Accurize2. For as little as $1 a month, you can be listed in the credits as either a producer, a executive producer, or an associate producer, depending on your pledge. So, ah, it was a good trip, guys. See you in the next episode.